All right, welcome everyone to today's live training. This is Doran Aldana from MortgageMarketingCoach.com and today we're gonna to talk about something that's mission critical, I think, for every discerning mortgage professional who realizes that indeed we're living in uncertain times and we're living in a lot of turbulence and to think that it's gonna go away and to think that it's just gonna be lollipops, unicorns, and rainbows in the face of all that, I think is delusional optimism. And so we need to have accurate thinking. We need to be prudent and we need to be vigilant to hedge ourselves against these uncertainties and to build a rock solid, success certain, recession proof business. So when the storms hit, and it's not a matter of if, but when, when the storms hit, you're ready and you can weather the storm and not just survive, but even thrive in the face of it. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. The five-step game plan for building a rock-solid recession-proof business so you can prosper in unprosperous times and be least and last affected by market downturns. So that being said, we have an action guide for today's training. We always like to have an action guide so you guys can take notes and have it all consolidated in one centralized location. Today is certainly no exception. You can grab it and download it, print it up, have it ready with a pen in hand so you can gaff these ideas with a pen before they slip away like a slippery fish gone forever. And you can get it at b.link forward slash recession guide. b.link forward slash recession guide. And that's a great spot for you to be able to just take notes as we go through this mission critical content we're gonna cover today. So who is this for? Great question. This is for the courageous, not the fearful, not the sky is falling paranoid, but the courageous, accurate thinking, sober thinking, 100% commission mortgage professional who wants to expand while everyone else is contracting, who wants to make prudent choices in advance of any storm. So when the storms hit, you're ready for them. Who knows that it's not a matter of if a recession is going to come. It's just a matter of when the recession will come. And obviously only God knows, but there are lots of signs pointing to the fact that it's coming sooner than later. And so they want to be able to hedge their bets and to be able to build that solid foundation. And they're defiantly committed to building that solid, rock solid foundation. So they're least and last affected by market downturns. So they can be prosperous in unprosperous times. And if that sounds like you, you've certainly come to the right place today because that's precisely what we're gonna be talking about, how to do exactly that. So in the next 60 minutes, I'm gonna show you the single biggest reason why Mortgage Pros struggle to build a consistent, stable pipeline of closed deals and how to fix that problem once and for all. How to structure your business on a rock solid foundation so you never have to worry about market conditions like rates, inventory, home values. Those are like the wind for the sailor. The sailor obviously prefers to have sunny skies and steady winds, but in some cases, they have to be on the water even when it's less windy than they like or more windy than they'd like and the waters are turbulent and they're trying to fight against rather, well, let's just call it undesirable conditions. And so our job is to be as vigilant and wise and discerning and strategic as we can to be able to pull the rudder and tilt the sales to work in your favor regardless of what market conditions might be. So we're gonna talk about how to do that today. How to identify where you're wasting time and money so you can start working smarter, not just harder. Where you're spinning your wheels, where you're losing steam, where you're being busy, but not necessarily bringing productivity. So I'm gonna show you how to laser focus in on it, what actually works and get away from the stuff that doesn't work. We're gonna talk about the fastest, easiest, most brain dead simple way to crush your goals, to hit your income targets better, faster, easier than ever before without relying on cold calling or crap internet leads or sifting through a bunch of chaff just to find a few kernels because that frankly is doing it the hard way. We're gonna talk about how to attract the best quality, easiest to convert, most profitable clients who send you the most amount of referrals. You know what I call that? The shortest path to the cash. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a way that's super simple and elegant. And so you don't have to get complicated. You don't have to overcomplicate this thing and reinvent the wheel. 
just focus on what works with elegant simplicity. We're gonna talk about the most overlooked, underutilized lead source that most mortgage professionals are leaving a ton of money on the table with and neglecting this treasure trove of opportunity is like stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. And frankly, I'd be surprised if most of you aren't leaving a shit ton of money on the table right now just in this one area of your business alone. So I'm gonna show you what it is and how to take that money and put it in your pocket where it belongs. Again, that's what I call working smarter, not just working harder. How to build a recession-proof fortress around your family, around your business, so when the storm hits, and again, it's not a, it's not a question of if the storm will hit, it's a matter of when the storm will hit, just like the ebbing and flowing of the tides. It's not a matter of if the tide, tide will ebb or flow. It's just a matter of the rhythm of life. Same thing with crisis, same thing with challenges, same thing with turbulence in life. It's the natural rhythm and fiber and fabric of life. And to think otherwise is to resist common sense and to resist the self-evident factual evidence that we see every single time we look at history. We see the ebbing and flowing of turbulence in the markets, in situations that we're dealing with. These turbulent times are frankly unprecedented. However, it's still part of that rhythm and that ebbing and flowing of challenges that the human race has faced from the beginning of time. So we're gonna show you how to put a fortress to put yourself in the best position to be able to weather those storms so you can continue to thrive while your competition struggles just to survive. So my promise to you friends is that you guys get out of our time together today the shortest path to the cash, regardless of market conditions. And not just getting yourself a big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow that you know lasts for a few days or a few weeks or a few years. I'm talking about longevity. I've been in this game coaching mortgage pros for 15 years. I've seen a lot of changes over the last 15 years. Chances are, if you've been in the game for that period of time or more, you've seen a lot of changes too. I want you guys to have longevity peace of mind and security for years to come. I'm gonna show you the pathway to do that today. You'll be glad to know there's nothing for sale here today, even though some of you frankly are chomping at the bit for a proven solution and for turnkey, rock solid kick-ass systems and campaigns that will help you get your business from zero to hero or from struggling to thriving. And we do indeed have those in our toolbox for the right clients, but we're not gonna be selling anything on this webinar today. I'm just gonna be pouring out my heart, pouring out my mind of what I believe to be the best solutions for you in these turbulent times. And I trust that if indeed we're a good fit to work together, we'll have an opportunity to speak in the future. And I'll talk about that at the end of our training today. I do, however, have a free gift, several free gifts, in fact, that I'm gonna be sharing with you at the end of the webinar today that uh, will help you just have a leg up in implementing a lot of what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, cool beans? All right, good stuff. So let's get started. Let me ask you this. Does this sound like you? Does all the uncertainty that comes from the coronavirus shutdown, market volatility, the recession, uh, the ups and downs in rates, et cetera, got you feeling concerned about your financial future? Do you wish you had a more stable, consistent, reliable way to close more deals regardless of market conditions? Are you relying too much on unreliable lead sources like low producing, bottom feeding, whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly donut eating, low producing realtors who aren't reliable, who are disloyal, who are flaky and don't send you consistent business or crap internet leads that are just like filtering through a mountain of gravel to find the odd gold nugget here or there, or refis where you're constantly relying on pricing and rates and fickle shoppers? Are you relying too much on unreliable sources of business? Are you worried about your ability to weather the storm if and when a full-blown recession hits? Is your income like a roller coaster ride from hell? Up one month, down the next up one year, down the next, feast or famine, up and down like a yo-yo. 
making it difficult to plan for the future, making it difficult to save for retirement and the kids' education fund, etc. Do you feel like you're spinning your wheels, being busy but not necessarily being productive, worrying where your next deal is going to come from? Does your business feel like it's on a faulty foundation, like it's built on sand versus a solid rock? If that's the case, I'm here to tell you, my friends, you're not alone. I've been in this game a long time, and I can tell you that the lion's share of mortgage professionals out there face the same struggle and feel the same pain. So you're in good company. Welcome to the club. What's the real problem here? I'll tell you that the real problem is not the market, it's not the rates, it's not the competition, it's not the products and services your company offers, it's none of that. It's that you have not made the shifts that are necessary to mitigate all this risk, mitigate all this uncertainty, and put yourself in a solid, consistent, profitable position. That's the real problem. That's at the root of the problem. While everyone else is poking at the fruit, you got to get to the root because what's above the ground cannot be changed until you get to what's below the ground. You've got to get to the root cause. And today we're going to get you zeroed in like a laser beam on what's really at the root of these challenges. And once you make these shifts, you'll have consistent control over your income, your pipeline, your partners, and even who you work with in terms of the caliber of the partner so you can pick and choose who you want to work with so you're only working with the cool cats you actually enjoy working with that give you energy that give you life as opposed to the energy vampires that suck you dry you'll have a well diversified reliable flow of purchase referrals that you can count on now are some deals going to fall through obviously yes that's the nature of the beast but we're going to tip the scales of fortune in your favor so you have the most amount of control with the least amount of risk the most amount of reward with the least amount of risk you'll be maximizing your income while minimizing your workload and all the stress that comes with it it's called maximum income for the least amount of time energy money and stress and that's my goal for you, friends, is that you find a way to maximize the fun, the fulfillment, and the funds that you get from this business while mitigating and eliminating all the stuff that doesn't feel good, the stress, the overwhelm, the minutia, and the hell of going up and down like a roller coaster and worrying where your next deal is going to come from. Once you make these shifts, you're going to be able to do all of that and you'll be able to do that with total peace of mind and security, knowing you're building your business on a rock solid, by referral only, recession proof foundation. And again, that's my goal for you and that's why we're doing this training. There are five simple shifts you need to implement in order to build a recession proof business. And today we're gonna walk you through exactly how to do it. So strap on your seatbelts, get ready. Let's rock this baby. Here we go. Now, before we get into it, for the uninitiated, a mercifully brief introduction. <laughs> I've been coaching mortgage pros to success since 2005, so it's certainly not my first rodeo. 15 years in the game and counting. I've been a contributing expert author for many industry publications like the Mortgage Journal, CMP Magazine, MPA Magazine, and many others. Uh, we won the prestigious Best Industry Service Provider Award three years in a row. And I think one of the reasons why we did that is because we have dozens and dozens and dozens of real world, zero to hero, dud to stud, kick ass success stories and testimonials of which you're gonna see just a small fraction of today. So we're gonna dive into the content today to show you how to build a recession proof business. And if you have not yet done so, you can grab the action guide for this. So you have a place to take notes at b.link forward slash recession guide. Just the way you see it on your screen there, B dot link forward slash recession guide all right let's dive into it shall we let's uncover and discover the five shifts the five shifts that you must make and take in order to gain consistent control of your lead flow and your pipeline of closed deals 
We're gonna walk you through all five of them right here, right now. So the first step is focus on the purchase market. Focus on the purchase market. Let's be real. The purchase market is the most reliable source of business bar none. If you compare it to the refi market, there is no comparison. It's so much more reliable, so much more consistent, so much more of a success certain source of business that the refi market pales in comparison. Because when rates go up, people are still buying their first home, buying a bigger home, relocating, buying investment properties, getting divorced or dying. And all of those milestones, all of those happenings involve a purchase transaction, true? So in other words, it doesn't matter what is going on with the market. When you focus on the purchase market, you have the most consistent and reliable source of business coming in because no matter what's going on, no matter what's going on with rates or inventory or whatever, people are still doing transactions. And if you're not getting them, it's because they're going over your head and going to your competitor. It's not because they're not happening. It's just that you're not getting the market share. Does that make sense, guys? Focus on the purchase market because a locked refi loan is not nearly as certain as a firm purchase deal. You know it and I know it. So make sure that you're not sitting on a one-legged stool precariously relying on an unreliable source of business like the refi business because Lord knows when the shakedown happens with a recession and or when rates go up, all of a sudden that pony that you're riding gets sick. And one thing I've learned over the years is not a brilliant thought, it's not the most intelligent thought, but it's a thought. And the thought is this, when the pony you're riding is sick or you realize it's dead, it's time to dismount. And if you haven't noticed by now, over the last few weeks that the refi market is rather precarious, I don't know what will get you to notice because there's been plenty of turbulence in the refi market over the last three weeks with rates going up and down like a ping pong ball because of the turbulence going on due to the coronavirus. And if that doesn't make you scared in your boots, if you're relying on that as your only and sole source of business, I don't know what will, because that frankly is a rather precarious foundation to build your business upon, if you hadn't noticed by now. Purchase deals have higher average loan amounts. You may have noticed that. If you look at your last 10 loans, if you've got a book of business and you're not just starting from scratch, if you look at the last 10 loans in the refi business, the last 10 refis and the last 10 purchase deals, and you add up how much you earned, I can pretty much guarantee you without a shadow of a doubt that you made more on average per deal on the purchase side than you did on the refi side. True? So why wouldn't you focus like a laser beam on the pathway for business that gives you the most profit? It just makes sense, right? Why step over dollars to pick up dimes if you don't have to? Purchase clients are also less rate conscious and less likely to shop you, and they're more likely to refer you because refi people tend to be a little self-conscious about the fact that they're refinancing to save money or they're refinancing to do debt consolidation. So they tend to be a little bit more secretive of that, if you hadn't noticed by now, than someone who just bought their house. When people buy their house, they're screaming it from the rooftops, they're posting it on social media, they're raving about it to friends and family, and they're announcing it to everybody. Anyone with a pulse of fog of mirror, basically, they're telling you, they're telling you about it. Not so much on the refi side. So they're less rate conscious, they're more loyal and they refer more likely and more often. Why the heck would you not want to zero in on that type of business and magnify that type of business? It just makes sense, does it not? So those are just a few reasons why it makes dollars and cents to focus on the purchase market. Whether you're in good times or turbulent times, that will always be the case. Step two in the five steps to recession-proofing your business is attract top producing realtors. Attract top producing realtors. Not the bottom feeding, whining, stimuling, complaining, jelly, donut eating, mediocre realtors, but the top dogs, the ones who are doing the most amount of business, the ones who have the most amount of inventory, the ones that have the most amount of buyers, the ones who can send you the most amount of business. So let's unpack this for you. Low producing realtors obviously are not 
a consistent, reliable source of quality referrals, even at the best of times, let alone in recession. They're the first to drop like flies when the market turbulence really starts to turn up because all of a sudden the low-hanging fruit dries up and the stuff that they were relying on before, obviously, is now withered on the vine and they're starting to look for a nine to five job to pay the bills because what they're doing ain't working anymore. And so they start dropping like flies and now your source of business that you were relying on before in the sunny skies, in the good times, in the low hanging fruit season has withered up and died and your business is withering up and dying with it. Don't let that happen to you. In contrast, top producers, those doing 20 plus transactions a year, that's kind of the qualifier I use for a top producer, 20 plus transactions a year, they own the lion's share of the inventory in your market. They have the biggest database of buyers and have the highest capacity to city the most amount of business the most often. Why not focus on them? But Doran, these guys are hard to get. They're hard to attract. Well, that's because you're doing it the hard way, my friend. I'm glad you're on this webinar because I'm going to show you how to do it the smart way as opposed to the hard way. And when you do it the smart way, it's like a hot knife through butter. It ain't no thing but a chicken wang. They're no harder to attract than a low producer, but they're 10 times, 20 times, 100 times more profitable. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Top producing realtors exercise iron-fisted control of the transaction more often than not because they don't want to leave that transaction to chance. They don't want to leave the buyer experience to chance. They don't want to leave their commission to chance, which means they're more likely to have their own preferred lender that they make their exclusive, that they endorse to all their buyers. They don't ask if their buyer will you know, reach out to them. They tell their buyer to do it. And when they tell their buyer to do it and they say to the buyer, jump, the buyer says, how high? That's the kind of relationship that a top producer has with their client. It's not willy-nilly. It's not leaving it to chance. It's not giving out three business cards. They don't want to leave the single most important, valuable, and perhaps uh, most costly investment their client will ever make in their entire life up to chance. So they recommend their preferred lender to every single client. And that means if you're in that category, you're getting all that business as opposed to working with low producers who leave it to chance and that's why their business is up and down like a yo-yo and that's why they start dropping like flies when the storm hits because they're not ready for it. Top producers are more aggressive marketers. If you hadn't noticed by now, they're more aggressive at consumer direct marketing. They spend more money on marketing. They're more aggressive with database marketing. They have better systems in place, which means more buyers, more opportunities for you. Does that make sense, guys? So that's why it behooves you and it only makes dollars and cents to be focusing on attracting top producers, not the whining, stimming, complaining, jelly donut eating low producers. You guys with me on that? So let me ask you this. What's one VIP partner, a top producing realtor partner worth to you? If you think about it, your average commission per deal being three G's a pop, hypothetically speaking, and they're able to send you one deal per month. What's that work out to you? That's three G's a month. That's 36 G's a year, right? That's $360,000 plus a decade. I went to public school. My math ain't so good, but you know, that's not exactly chump change, is it? Now, how many of those partners do you want? Five, 10, 12? It doesn't take much to add up. How many VIP partners do you need to hit your income goal? It ain't much. While you guys are overcomplicating things, thinking you need 20 realtors or 40 realtors, my clients that I work with who come to me to show them the shortest path to the cash, the lowest hanging fruit way to get to their income goals are just working with six to 12 solid partners and they're slaying their goals. They're crushing their goals, working with less realtors, with less drama and trauma. Which would you prefer? Trying to herd cats, working with 20, 30, 40 realtors who are disloyal and flaky and fickle and inconsistent and unreliable who send you a deal once every three, four, five, six months, or just cut the clutter, cut the crap, cut all the chaos and nonsense, and just go straight to working with a few top dogs, just six to 12 who are awesome, who have great energy, you have great synergy with, they're a ton of fun, they're cool cats, and they're sending you all their business, and they're sending you one, two, three deals a month. Obviously, it's a no-brainer, right? The no-brainer of the year. So case in point, Here's a quick story of how Kelly Charney doubled her income from 1 million to 2 million in volume per month in just three months. 
Now, she'd been struggling with inconsistency in her income for years. She'd been in the game for 16 years. She was constantly worrying where her next deal was going to come from. Some of you guys can relate to that, especially in those slow months where she'd have one, two, or three slump months where she's really freaking out, wondering how she's going to be paying the bills. She's worried about planning for the future. She's worried about having to dip into savings and stacking up credit card debt. And that roller coaster ride from hell drove her crazy. She was just getting sick and tired of living in that year after year after year. So she reached out for help. She got our proven systems. She stuck the key in the ignition, drove away with plug and play, turnkey, Facebook ads, database marketing systems so she can mine the gold from her database, get more repeat and referral business. And we showed her how to use her pre-approvals as bait to attract top producing realtor partners who make her their exclusive lender working on her terms, not theirs. And the result was nothing short of awesome. She doubled her pipeline in just three months with consistency, consistently growing her pipeline, consistently growing her income. And she was able to land a top producing realtor who does 75 transactions a year among many of the other top producers. Get this, without even meeting with them. She met with them in Zoom on a Zoom meeting. Some of you right now are wondering, how the heck can I meet with realtors when I'm on lockdown and quarantine? There's something called digital online meeting places like what we're doing here or using Zoom and you can meet with these realtors and poach them from their lazy, apathetic, freaked out, hunkering down, toilet paper stacking you know, and, and soup can uh, stockpiling loan officers that are just in a contraction mode and you can be in expansion mode and be poaching those partners away from them while they're stepping out of your way, you can be expanding and taking market share. And that's precisely what Kelly Charney did. She was able to land these solid partners and now she's got a steady stream of closed deals coming in on a regular basis that are hot for what she's got, pre-sold on her before they even meet her. And now she's got total peace of mind and confidence because she doesn't have to be worrying where her next deal is going to come from. Think about that. What life would be like not to have to worry about when that next deal is going to come from, not to have to worry about the ups and downs, knowing the pipeline continues to grow month after month after month and year after year after year. It's a whole different world, isn't it? That's my goal for you. And obviously, the system works when you work it. Here's another quick case study. This lady... Uh, Misty Sessions, she 10 x her income in just four months without making a single cold call. Here's how she did it. Misty had been in the game for about a year and was closing about one deal a month. And like most mortgage professionals, she was doing the typical caveman marketing methods her manager had recommended to her, cold calling realtors every Monday, going to open houses, even door knocking, as Cro-Magnon as that sounds. She was door knocking, okay? She was willing to do whatever it takes, but it was not working. And after busting her hump, working 50 hours a week, plus evenings and weekends, all she had to show for it was just two leads per week, and most of those didn't close. She was doing about 1.3 closings a month at that point, busting her hump. To say she was burnt out and frustrated would be the understatement of the year. She felt guilty working so much for so little, not being around for her kids. She hated the door knocking. She hated the cold calling. She hated all the rejection. And as no after no after no just continued to chip away at her self-confidence, her self-worth, her self-respect, and she felt like she was on a roller coaster ride up and down, up and down, wasting her time and not getting the money she needed on useless activities that didn't work. Day by day, the mounting of the anxiety just continued to climb upwards and become more and more potent like a clenched fist, a tight knot in her chest, squeezing out her piece. And you'd think after finally closing a deal, she'd finally feel relieved. But instead, she felt even more anxious because she would look at her empty pipeline and wonder, oh, crap, where the heck is my next deal going to come from? As you can imagine, all the stress and anxiety did not bode well for her sleep. She woke up in the middle of the night, almost every night in a cold sweat, her brain churning, trying to figure out how to fix this problem. If you've ever experienced the hell of insomnia, you know it's a special kind of suck. Waking up 
all sleep deprived, haggard, dragging your butt through the day. And to cope, Misty doubled down on her anxiety meds. She was popping pills just to make it through the day and to sleep at night. But the side effects were brutal. She felt this terrible sense of tension and headaches every day. Her deepest fear was having to accept defeat and being forced out of the business, having to give up on her dream, stick her tail between your legs and start punching a clock, building someone else's dream with some kind of nine to five day job, doing something she hated doing, something she was miserable doing with an office ball and chain around her ankle. That was her deepest fear. She couldn't bear the thought of letting her family down knowing that she failed her husband and her kids, showing her kids what it looks like to settle for a second best life. Screw frickin' that, she defiantly committed herself to winning no matter what. So after an entire year of doing it the hard way, Misty realized that obviously what she's doing, it ain't working, so she reached out for help, and that's when everything changed for her. The first thing we did with her is we helped her build a list of the top 200 realtors in her market, who are doing the most amount of transactions and we loaded them into our realtor attraction system. What happened next blew Misty's mind. Within a matter of just a few minutes, she got a flood of top producing realtors chomping at the bit to meet with her, hot for what she's got, receptive and open and eager to meet with her like never before. She was like a hot knife through butter, booking appointments at will. She literally booked five realtor appointments the very first meeting she uploaded the list. And the best part, she didn't have to make a single cold call. Fast forward two months. Misty now has 12 amazing VIP realtor partners who are top producers who are complete rock stars, who she enjoys and loves working with and who enjoy and love working with her. They're a blast to work with, they're cool cats, they're, they have great energy and great synergy with her and they send her all their buyers all the time. They've made her their exclusive. She went from getting two to three referrals a month in December to 41 referrals received in just two months through January and February. Remember, that's just two months, and she went from one loan a month to now moving into the pipeline in April. She's on track to do 10 loans. 10 loans. That's a 10x increase in just four months. How freaking off the chain awesome is that? That's what I call working smart, not just working hard. Agreed? So let's move on to step three. Step three in the process is maximize your repeat and referral business maximize your repeat and referral business. So if your database is on point, you should be getting one to three closings per month for every 100 past clients. How many deals are you leaving on the table right now, letting all that juice continue to be remaining in the fruit and not squeezing it out? If you think about it, chances are you're leaving a lot of meat on the bone. Chances are, if you do have a database and you've been in the game for a period of time, you're leaving tens of thousands of dollars a month on the table. Black belt level is three deals for every 100 past clients. Yellow belt level is about one deal for every 100. So even at yellow belt, you're probably leaving money on the table, let alone black belt. Agreed? So there's a huge treasure trove of opportunity there that is often overlooked. And this is one of the easiest ways to increase your income without increasing your workload, just in your own database. And I'm here to tell you, if you hadn't noticed by now, cookie cutter crap campaigns from your company CRM ain't gonna cut it. That's just snoring, boring, Dullsville. It's gonna put your clients to sleep. And you know, if they're complaining about insomnia, then by all means, keep sending it out. But if you're looking for a way to get more repeat and referral business, you might wanna up your game because that stuff just ain't gonna cut it. If you don't own and control your own CRM, I'm here to tell you, you're building your house on someone else's title. Not smart, right? Because at the end of the day, you can always pull your data, you can always extract your data with their contact information, but it's not the data that makes you money. It's the campaigns. And if you don't have control of those campaigns in your back pocket, heaven forbid you go to a new company and you don't have that, you just lost the campaigns that you had to leave behind to your company. And there goes your income, there goes the repeat and referral business, okay? You wanna be able to have that in your back pocket. Does that make sense, guys? So mission critical.
And unfortunately, so many mortgage professionals don't heed these warnings and end up uh, leaving the most valuable asset they have in their business with their previous company. It's a serious kick in the nuts what, that will cost you a lot of money if you don't get this under control and under your control. You need a system, guys, for turning your happy clients into five-star rave reviews on Google so that you become the only logical choice on Google with people who are hot for what you got coming to you through the local uh, search results on Google and then turn those rave reviews into red hot referrals because think about it, who better to send you a referral than someone who just gave you a five-star review? You guys with me on that? That's the best source of referrals ever, your happy clients. So you guys need a system for building those referrals but also building long-term top of mind awareness. So when people think mortgage, boom, you're the only logical choice. You're the number one go-to mortgage pro. You're their mortgage pro for life because you've been staying in touch, building that connection, adding value, and building that top of mind awareness. Does that make sense, guys? Super, super important. Case in point, this gentleman, uh, Samuel Borthwick, he went from 10K per month to 87K per month building a seven-figure business in just 10 months while working less. Here's a little bit about his story. Samuel left work one day with a pit in his stomach. He just lost two deals that made up 60% of his income for the month. And with a stay-at-home uh, wife at home, relying on him to slay the dragons and a kid to feed, he felt like the weight of the world was on his shoulders. Uh, he looked at himself in the rear view mirror as he was driving home thinking, this is my life. This is my life. Struggling. How did I get myself into this mess? Other people are winning. Other people are kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum, crushing it. Why not me? Why the heck can I figure this out? You see, he'd been struggling in the business for eight years. He was busting his hump working 70 hours a week in survival mode. To make matters worse, he felt the silent disappointment and guilt every single day knowing he was an absentee dad, seeing his son grow up on social media, missing out on those special moments, missing out on the ball games, missing out on all those beautiful memories, missing out on raising his son. It was like a monkey on his back all day, every day. He couldn't shake off that guilt. Just when it seemed like he was about to break free, his pipeline would fall apart like a house of cards and he'd have to start all over again from scratch trying to rebuild it. Some of you can relate to that. It was constant scrambling, constantly trying to stay away from the bear on his back and the wolves at the door. How did Samuel go from struggling? You know, he was just eking out an existence after taxes, bringing in about 6,500 a month after taxes to breaking his company-wide volume record and then making a seven-figure income, bringing in 87K plus per month and getting his life back while working one-tenth the amount he used to. Here's how he did it. When Samuel came to me, he was at the end of his rope, as you, I'm sure, could tell from what I've shared with you so far. He was done with struggling. He was done with beating up you know, himself in his own mind, with his own self-talk. He was done with living in fear. He was done with struggling and spinning his wheels. He was done with not being the husband and the daddy he was called to be. His greatest fear was having his son build a case against him for not being in his life, being an absentee dad and just being a walking checkbook and not being there for him and missing out on those magical moments and having his son drift away and ultimately living a life of regret and the tarnishing that would have on his legacy as dad and husband. And it wasn't like he hadn't been trying to get this fixed. He tried several coaching programs. I won't mention the names, but you guys, I'm sure are familiar with, you know, all the different ways of doing this business the hard way, the cold calling, 40 realtors every freaking Monday, no value prop, open houses, coffee meetings, etc. He started thinking to himself, there must be something wrong with me because no matter how hard I try, I can't figure this out. Nothing seems to work. And that's when Samuel reached out for help. When we got him going on our proven system, we completely revamped the way he approached his business. We got him working smarter, not harder, using automation, using systems, using campaigns that work when you work them. 
mining the gold from his database, attracting top producing realtors without the hell of cold calling. Within just 10 months, we took Samuel from 10K per month to bringing in seven figures, 87K plus per month, working way less, having way more free time so he can be there for his kid and be there for his wife. He broke his company-wide national record for volume, the most amount of volume in one calendar month, which was $8.7 million in funded volume. And the best part is now he's not only able to spend way more time because he's working 10 to 15 hours a week less than what he was working before, not only is he able to have way more time with his family, more freedom to be daddy on deck and to show up the way he's called to be for his family. Now he's able to be present with his son, enjoying those magical moments with him every single day. Now he's living the dream and being the daddy he's called to be. How freaking off the chain awesome is that? That's the life of what it's really about to be a mortgage professional. The life of someone who's stepping into freedom, stepping into not just making great money, but being able to have the quality time with those you love. That's the stuff that makes life priceless, the stuff that changes your life forever. So let's move on now to step four in the five steps to recession-proofing your business. Step four is to build stability through diversification. Now, why after 3,000 years is the Parthenon still standing today? It's still standing today because it has multiple pillars. It's built stability through diversification of pillars holding it up. And the same is true with your business. The more pillars you build, the more peace of mind you have. You want to build a power Parthenon with multiple pillars, multiple lead streams, multiple partners, multiple profit centers, so that if one or two get knocked out, you don't worry about it because you're still standing strong. Does that make sense, guys? So you need to have a proactive lead generation system that works while you're not working, that works while you're on vacation, that works when you're on lockdown, that works when you're taking time with the family. You wanna be able to have a systems-based business, not a you-based business. You guys with me on that? And you wanna be able to have three different areas of your business with multiple pillars within it. So you can build stability through diversification. The first pillar is referral partners, multiple pillars, multiple sources of business, multiple alliances, multiple lead streams. I would focus first on top producing realtors because they have the highest capacity to send you the most amount of business most often. So why not start there with the shortest path to the cash, right? And then the second pillar is your database. So capturing more repeat and referral business so that instead of it going to your competitor, it's going to you, it only makes sense. And having multiple campaigns and multiple strategies to be able to extract that business and monetize that asset. And then the third area is consumer direct marketing. So being able to go to other sources beyond just realtors and beyond just your database, like Facebook ads, Google AdWords, uh, social media, et cetera. You wanna build a solid stable of 12 VIP partners who make you their exclusive. Not willy nilly, they might refer you when they get around to it, but you are their go-to mortgage pro. You get uh, 12 stable partners like that, that can be worth you know, one deal per month plus, that's 12 plus deals a month just from your referral partners. Think about the stability that gives you, especially considering they're top producers, so they're at least likely to go out of business when the market goes down the toilet, as opposed to the low producers who are the first to be affected, first and most, as opposed to least and last. Do you see the stability of that? game changer. You want to have referral systems that turn every deal you do into more deals. So every deal you do is beginning more deals, beginning more deals, beginning more deals. So you have a deal beginning machine that works every single time like clockwork. So again, you're building that stability through diversification and you want to have a long-term nurture campaign to ensure you're capturing all that refi and referral business. So instead of going to your competitors, it's going to you. Take that money off the table, put it in your pocket where it belongs. And you want to have consumer direct marketing. So you're able to, again, build that stability through diversification. So you're not just relying on your database 
or your realtor partners. For example, setting up Facebook ads that allow you to get more consumer direct business and to be able to go and get the buyers first, self-source your own buyers, and then use those pre-approvals as bait to attract top producing realtors. And if they don't reciprocate, you simply fire them and replace them. Simple as that. Does that make sense, guys? So now you're in the power position. Now you've got the cookie. Anything less is doing it the hard way. So another case in point, this is how Penny Rightly got 460 leads and 14 closings worth $42,000 in commissions from a $600 ad spend on Facebook. Check this out. So when Penny came to us, she was stressed out. She was worried about losing her sales team because she was not leading by example. She was reactive instead of proactive. She was drifting instead of driving. She did not have a consistent steady stream of closed deals nor leads to fill her pipeline. She was getting in her own way. She was stuck. She was worried about the future. She was worried about getting her sales team poached by competitors. So she reached out for help. We helped to launch a series of Facebook ads that generated a consistent steady stream of pre-approvals into her pipeline that she could feed to top producing agents and basically force them to make her their exclusive partner. And to make a long story short, the result was that she generated 460 leads, 34 applications, 14 closings, $42,000 in commissions from just a $600 ad spend. And not only that, she sent five pre-approved buyers to top producing agents who sent her 11 leads back. Talk about using the law of reciprocity in your favor, all within just 45 days. And again, without making a single cold call. Contrast that to how you're doing it right now, relying on unreliable lead sources, being in a very precarious position and not being able to attract partners because you're chasing them, asking them to throw you a bone without a unique value proposition. Can you see how this is smarter, easier, better than what you're doing now? You gotta be knowing if you wanna take your business to the next level, you gotta be doing something different because the definition of insanity is doing the same old thing and getting the same old result, right guys? So you guys want to step up your game, you've got to step up your game and do something different. And the coolest thing about Penny's story is now she's kicking ass like never before. She's leading from the front like never before, inspiring her team to kick ass like never before by virtue of her own leadership because everything rises and falls on leadership. Agreed? How awesome is that? That's the power of stepping up and leading the charge. And lastly, step five in the five steps to recession proofing your business is invest in mentoring. Invest in mentoring. As the good old Benny Franklin once said, for the best return on your money, pour your purse into your head. The best investment you can ever make is in yourself. Investing in building the marketing muscle, the mindset muscle, the leadership muscle you need to become more because as Jim Rohn once said, the late and great Jim Rohn once said, you can have more because you can become more. And you can't chase success. It's like a fleeting butterfly. You attract success by becoming a better person, a bigger person, a better version of yourself. You attract success by becoming an attractive person. Does that make sense, guys? So mentoring can help you pour gasoline on the fire in becoming a better version of yourself, condensing timeframes, turning decades into days, and getting the recipes of success right out the gate so you don't have to mess around doing it the hard way, trying to reinvent the wheel from scratch. Everyone wants to be a champion, but not everyone's wanting to do what it takes to become a champion, to build the muscle, to get the skills, to acquire the knowledge, to acquire the recipes of success. Everyone can talk a big game, but it takes a true champion to walk the talk and invest in themselves to get those systems, to get those recipes, to get those formulas, to build that muscle. That's why champions always invest in champion level mentors. You become the best by surrounding yourself with the best. The biggest thing holding us back is not the economy, it's not the market, it's not the rates. It's not anything without. It's that which lies within. It's our blind spots because you can't see the label when you're inside the bottle. 
Have you noticed? So revealing those blind spots and illuminating those blind spots is a huge leg up to getting you on the path to breakthrough. Mentoring brings three things to the equation, new ideas, accountability, and proven systems, proven recipes. Think about it. There are new ideas in your head right now that wouldn't have been in your head before had you not made the time for this training. True? That's a case in point right there. A good mentor will give you great ideas and help you implement them in your life because biggest gap in life is the gap between that which we know and that which we do. You want to bridge the gap between where you are now and your dreams and your goals? You got to bridge that knowledge gap to implement what you already know because a lot of what I shared today, you already know. You just got to implement it. That's where accountability comes in. That's where a great mentor comes in. A great mentor will also put together a circle of champions who are reaching for higher ground, who are doing big things, who have big dreams, big goals, and are making big moves. And this multiplies everyone's effectiveness exponentially. Because when you get in the energy orbit of champions, it's like a rising tide that raises all the boats. Case in point, in my Seven Figure Lender Academy, we have people earning 5K a month, working alongside people earning 80K plus per month. Everyone wins, everyone's growing and expanding together. Case in point, this gentleman, Devin Peterson, tripled his loan volume from 300K to a million plus per month in just two months. Here's how he did it. Before he reached out to us, he was frustrated as hell because he wasn't getting the steady leads and realtors that he needed to grow his business. Realtors weren't giving him the time of day. They were apathetic, they were hanging up on him, and he was worried that he'd have to sell his house and force his stay-at-home wife to go back to work, starting to slay dragons for the family because he couldn't toe the line financially as a leader and provider in his home. And that would be a massive blow to his ego, his self-esteem, his self-respect, and his manhood mojo. So he's like, screw it, let's do it, whatever it freaking takes. He got into our program, he stepped up and showed up coachable, committed, resourceful, did the work, and we started by uploading 50 top producing agents into our realtor attraction system and bada bing, bada boom, he booked six appointments almost immediately, got three solid partners. And just from getting three solid partners, he was able to triple his production in just two months. Tripled his production in just two months. And now he doesn't have to sell his house. He doesn't have to worry about his wife having to go back to work. She is still the pampered princess taking care of the kids at home. They had another baby and he's loving it because he's slaying dragons, bringing home the bacon. His wife is just melting into the bliss of motherhood and he's winning for the family. You got to be knowing that changes everything. And that would not have happened had he not invested in himself in mentoring and getting the proven systems and the proven formula for success. And that's precisely why mentoring is such a game changer. Because the best part of his story, he's not afraid anymore. He's not living in fear anymore. He's not worried about where his next deal is going to come from anymore. That's priceless. That changes the fiber and fabric of your entire life. Agreed? So today I promised you that I'd teach you the single biggest reason why mortgage pros struggle to build a consistent, stable pipeline of closed deals and how to fix it once and for all. We taught you how to fix that today. Building stability through diversification, attracting top producing agents who make you their exclusive, getting those multiple pillars under your business. I also promised you that I'd show you how to structure your business on a rock solid foundation so you never have to worry about market conditions like rates, inventory, home values, et cetera, because you are least and last affected by market downturns instead of first and most. We showed you how to do that today. I also promised you how to identify where you're wasting your time and money so you can start working smarter, not harder, where you're leaving money on the table, where you're confusing activity with productivity. So you can stop spinning your wheels and you can start getting traction and start kicking ass like never before. I taught you how to do that today. I also promise you that I teach you the fastest, easiest way and most brain dead, simple way to crush your income goals, shortest path to the cash without relying on cold calling, internet leads or any of that crap. And again, I showed you how to do that today. True. Additionally, I promised you how to attract the best quality, easiest to convert most profitable clients who send the most amount of referrals. We talked about that. 
going after top producing agents, mining the gold from your database, getting red hot referrals, hot for what you got, pre-sold on you before they even talk to you. That is indeed the shortest path to the cash. I also promised you I'd teach you the most overlooked, underutilized lead source and neglecting this treasure trove is like stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. I revealed that to you today. It's your database. Even if you're starting from scratch as a newbie, you need to make sure you build this starting from day one so you can maximize repeat and referral business. And that's the best source of leads ever. Lowest cost, easiest to convert, most quality you can ever get all from your database right underneath your nose if you know how to monetize it. And today we talked about how to do exactly that. We also promised you how to build a recession-proof fortress around your family. So when the storms hit, you continue to thrive while the competition struggles just to survive. You're mitigating the downside and optimizing, maximizing the upside. And again, we showed you how to do that today, building that power Parthenon with stability. So to recap, the five steps to recession-proof your business are focus on the purchase market, attract top producing realtor partners, maximize your repeat and referral business, build stability through diversification, and invest in mentoring. And now you guys have a choice. This is a crossroads. You can keep doing what you've always been doing and keep getting what you've always been getting, or you can be open to and seek out a better, smarter way to grow your business. Be open to and seek out a recipe for success that allows you to get more results, with less time, energy, effort, and stress. So with that in mind, here's how I can help. My team and I have set aside some time over the next week to be available to talk with you over the phone one-on-one, -on -one, speak with you personally about how you can apply the ideas we shared with you on this webinar in your business starting today, helping you implement what you learn so that you can bridge the gap between that which you know and that which you do and to be able to do that better, faster, and easier. Because we get paid on done, not begun, right? And you'd be glad to know this conversation is 100% free, 100% complimentary. We're just gonna have a chat. We're gonna lift up the hood on your business and we're gonna see how we can help you. And in order to make this work, in order to qualify for this complimentary breakthrough call, you need to be a 100% commission mortgage professional doing residential loans who's committed to increasing your annual income by at least 100K or more in the next 12 months, even in the face of uncertain times, even in the face of turbulent times. You need to have total integrity with a genuine concern for your client's well being so that you're about bringing first class service to your clientele, a five star first class experience and adding massive value to the marketplace. You also need to be willing to invest at least five hours a week to work on your business, not just in your business, to show up coachable and committed. And on the call, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the hood on your business. We're gonna give you clarity like never before on exactly what it takes, okay, to take you from where you are to where you wanna be and the exact steps you need to take in order to bridge that gap and crush your goals. And where you're leaving money on the table and how you can start working smarter as opposed to just harder. So this is a call to give you clarity like never before, okay? And if we decide and discern that we can help you and we deem that you're the right fit and you deem that we're the right fit for you, we may invite you to become one of our new clients that we take on this month. But if not, frankly, I'll be the first to advise you and we'll be the first to advise you to pass on our services, okay? So either way, our goal for you is that you leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun along the way as well. Cool? Now, if we do indeed invite you in, we'll put you through the exact same program, the exact same formula and steps that helped our clients go from zero to seven figures. The curriculum is designed to double or even triple your income in 12 months or less with maximum leverage, regardless of market conditions, maximizing your upside, mitigating the downside, and to be able to do that without making a single cold call, even in the midst of turbulent times, even in the midst of a lockdown where all you have is a telephone and Zoom with nothing else because you can't meet face to face and belly to belly. We'll show you how to capitalize on that while all your competitors are hunkering down and turtling and stepping out of your way.
We'll expect you to start generating new partners and a significant surge of quality referrals within the first few weeks, building a rock solid, success certain, recession proof foundation. So in order to take advantage of that, to book a breakthrough call with me or one of my consultants, just go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. And as per my promise earlier in today's training, remember you may have recalled that I promised you I will give you a free gift for just showing up and staying with me to the end of today's training. Well, this is where I get to deliver and be able to give you that which I have promised. And in order to get that, what you wanna do is just simply go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply, and then scroll down to the footer at the bottom of the page, and you'll see three checklists. One checklist is a checklist for what you need to do to attract top producing realtors without the hell of cold calling. There's another checklist for how to mine the gold from your database so you can maximize repeat and referral business. And there's a third checklist for being able to attract quality buyers and self-source your own pre-approvals using Facebook ads. So three kick-ass, zero to hero, dud to stud, proven checklists for those three areas of your business, those three pillars, realtor partners, your database, and social media using Facebook. And you can claim those 100% complimentary, no strings attached by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. All right, guys. So this is your opportunity to hit me up with questions. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. Just go ahead and pop your questions in the uh, webinar control panel. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Okay, just pop your questions in the control panel there and uh, I will answer your questions and I've freed up a little time after this webinar here just to uh, you know, be there for you to answer any questions that are still lingering. So again, just go ahead and pop your questions into the comment box in the webinar control panel and uh, let's go through your questions and get them handled right here, right now. Let's see what you guys got. All right, so one of the questions was from Scott. He was asking about uh, the action guide for today's training. Uh, you can get that by going to b.link forward slash recession guide. So I'll just show you what that looks like. All right, so uh, here's the uh, domain, by the way, if you, in case you're wondering how to get to those checklists, you just go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply, scroll to the bottom of the page, and you'll see the checklist at the bottom of the page here, the database marketing checklist, the Facebook marketing checklist, and the realtor marketing checklist. So that's where you get all those uh, checklists. And the action guide you can get from b.link forward slash recession guide b.link forward slash recession guide and here's the guide right here to take your notes okay so hopefully that makes sense i hope that answers your question Let's see what other questions have come up all right i got another question from tyler he says i'm 20 years old and brand new to the industry what's my best first step great question your best first step my friend is make sure you're not heading to the gun with a butter knife or the gunfight rather with a butter knife unequipped and ill-equipped because frankly the statistics are definitely not in your favor 20 percent or rather 80 percent of the people who get in this business are chewed up and spat out within the first two years and th those who manage to survive in this business after the first two years only make 75k those are the stats obviously you didn't get in this business to make 75k and that's before tax not after tax so obviously the, the uh, statistics are certainly not in your favor. The odds are stacked against you. So you can't afford to be heading to the gunfight with a butter knife, unequipped and ill-equipped. So it's really mission critical that you get yourself armed and dangerous with the right strategy, the right approach. So you're working smart instead of just working hard. And so that you're not just, you know, flying by the seat of your pants, winging it, throwing yogurt at the fans, hoping something sticks because, you know, that ain't going to go so well if you hadn't noticed by now. 
So I would suggest you, you uh, book a breakthrough call, get with me or one of our consultants so we can really help you get the clarity you need on what it's going to really take to get off to a fast and profitable start and to make sure you don't get into bad habits and bad ruts where you're wasting your time and money on things that don't work. This is the best time to get yourself equipped and get the clarity you, you need to win right out the gate. So I'd suggest you start with booking a breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Uh, the other thing I would suggest you do from a strategy perspective is go after top producing agents. Everyone's gonna tell you don't go after top producers because they're not gonna give you the time of day. They're gonna see you're 20 years old and they're gonna laugh at you and they're not gonna think you have any credibility. And that's the complete ass backwards kind of recommendation I would give you. The recommendation I would give you is get yourself armed and dangerous, get yourself a kick-ass unique value proposition that makes you irreplaceable and indispensable even to top producing agents, such that they need you more than you need them. Set yourself up to be a massive asset to these partners so you can help them grow their business, so you can shine like the stars in the, the dark midnight sky, and then sell, you set yourself up so that you're able to get in front of some top producers using you know, a attraction-based approach. So instead of cold calling, use an attraction-based method where you're sending text messages, voicemails, and emails. Let the cream rise to the top. And now you're just engaging with people who want to talk with you, zero rejection, zero risk. And now you're able to basically shoot fish in a barrel and book appointments like a hot knife through butter, get in front of these partners and Make sure that you're investing in yourself with the right mentoring and the right systems and the right approach so you have the competence and the confidence to be able to really own your power in these meetings and you are interviewing them instead of them interviewing you. You hold the cookie, you have the power position in spite of the fact that you're young, in spite of the fact that you're new. And if you have the right approach, which is the approach we teach, you can be interviewing these people and taking them through a process where they're chomping at the bit to work with you in spite of all those reasons why your competitors are saying, I can't, which is I'm too young and I'm too inexperienced. You're using all that as a reason why you can, and you use that as an asset as opposed to a liability by stacking all the reasons why this is an asset for you as opposed to a liability for you. And then you poach all these competitors partners while they're hunkering down stock, stacking toilet paper in Campbell's soup and watching the news all day every day and stepping out of your way you're poaching their partners and you're doing it from the comfort of your own home using zoom for example using an online meeting software without having to make make a single meeting face to face and using this adversity into opportunity that's what i'm talking about while everyone else is zigging you're zagging while everyone else is contracting you're expanding does that make sense, Ty? Hit me up with a comment. Let me know if that makes sense. Steve says, any guidance uh, available for reverse mortgage market? Yeah, frankly, I'm not a big fan of one-legged stools, one-trick ponies, and focusing just on one sector or one niche, whether it be just focusing on uh, commercial mortgages or just focusing on non-QM mortgages or just focusing on refis, or just focusing on reverse, because those are the first to be affected by market downturns. I recommend purchase business. So sure, you can do you know a variety of different solutions for people within the purchase business, whether it be non-QM, whether it be you know um, down payment assistance programs, whether it be FHA or VA programs or whatever. You can have a multitude of different solutions for different sub markets and niches within the traditional purchase market but i recommend you stay in the purchase market as opposed to just doing refis because if you're just doing reverse dude uh that's not going to bode well if things change and all of a sudden reverse market type business is no longer viable now you're screwed blued and tattooed i recommend having that just be an additional pillar but not having that be your main source of business it just puts you in a precarious position uh, Tyler said, uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate your feedback. You're welcome. Glad I could help you, brother. 
book a call. Let's get together. Let's see if we can help you go stratospheric and uh, launch your business with massive traction, get off to a fast and profitable start. Let's get you armed and dangerous, brother. Let's see here. So Steve said, um, thank you. My stable is full of programs, understood. Yeah, so I'd say, you know, right now, if you can turn this adversity into opportunity in the in the reverse market, by all means, make hay while you can. Just don't rely on it re rely on it as your primary source. So if reverse mortgages are still viable right now, and uh, there's still elderly people who can genuinely benefit from this, and it it's not just a uh, financial noose around their neck that ends up completely kicking them in the proverbial nuts financially. Um, and if it's the best choice for them right now because they're equity rich but cash poor, then by all means, take advantage of it. But frankly, I would much rather spend my time going after a stable of top producing realtors who make me their exclusive and send me a consistent business than going after a source of business that might be here today but gone tomorrow. That's just not a reliable source of business. So uh, for what it's worth, that's my take on that. Uh, Susan said, having a, a referral partner make you their exclusive lender. How does that line up with RESPA? Of course, without kickback. Yeah, so just make it RESPA compliant. If you're providing them with marketing solutions, make them pay for it or make them pay for 50% of it or whatever the RESPA compliance regulations require. Um, but rather than just going out there and, you know, asking them to throw you a bone and tell them, hey, you know, I offer great rates and great service, which is what pretty much all your competitors are saying. and which is what is causing these top producers to have their eyeballs roll in the, you know, the back of their heads and, you know, slip into a coma because it's so boring and it just gets them tuning out because it's the same old, same old. You want to be zigging while everyone else is zagging, while everyone else is saying, hey, great rates, great through service, throw me a bone. You're talking about how you're helping them grow their business, how you're helping them expand market share, how you're helping them expand while everyone else is contracting, how you're helping them mine the gold from their database how you're helping them dominate on Google, how you're helping them, you know, by you sending them pre-approvals and you sending them hot buyers as opposed to them just sending you buyers, you're sending them business. So you want to be thinking about a unique angle, a unique hook that makes you stand up from the clutter. Does that make sense, Susan? And obviously you want to, you've got to have systems in place to be able to deliver. Otherwise, it's rather anticlimactic if you give them the bait and then you can't deliver on the back end. And that's where we come in. We give you the systems, the tools, the campaigns, uh, the arrows in your quiver to be armed and dangerous, not only in your own business, not only lead, leading by example in your own business, but also being able to show your partners how to do likewise. So you start by being a badass mortgage professional in your own business, putting these pillars and these processes and these systems in place in your own business, and then you turn around and show your partners how to do likewise, and that's how you become irreplaceable and indispensable. Because instead of being a mortgage guy or gal, instead of being a mortgage parasite, just sucking them dry for referrals, you're showing them how to grow their business and expand while everyone else is contracting and building that recession-proof business just like you're building. And now they're seeing you as their hero. They're loving you. They're ecstatic about you. And it, and it goes without saying that they're going to make you their exclusive when you are, become their hero and you're showing up like no one else is. You're going to get the results no one else is getting. Does that make sense, Susan? Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, I think that's all we got for questions, guys. Any other questions? Last call for questions going once. Last call for questions going twice. And last call for questions going thrice. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging with us. Uh, thank you for taking the time to be with me today. I know it's your most valuable commodity, your time. I don't take that lightly. So thank you for investing in yourself with me today. I trust you got value that you didn't have before. I trust you got more clarity like you didn't have before. And I trust that you got more distinction on what it really takes to build a recession-proof business. So now it's time to go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you'll get massive results. If you have not yet done so already, book a call with me. It's a free call, no obligation, no strings attached. What the heck, why not, right? Let's get you clarity like never before on what it's going to take to take your business to the next level in spite of all the uncertainty we face right now. Go ahead and book the call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. 
All right, guys, looking forward to connecting with you, looking forward to seeing what we can do to be the catalyst for your breakthrough. Be blessed. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.